Sup everyone, welcome back to the channel and today we're gonna talk about how to fix weather wizards and the weather is not working on your iPhone. Now this problem can happen when you move city to city or also happen some misconfiguration settings and can happen because of some internet related issues. But don't worry cause you can fix this problem. And to fix this problem, the first work you have to do guys, just go ahead and check out your internet related issues, okay? Now all you can do, just go ahead and open up your browser, just try to visit any website as possible to check whether your internet is working well or not. Alright guys, now to fix this problem, the first work you have to do, just go ahead and turn on your location service option on your iPhone. Now to do it, just go ahead and open up your settings. Now simply head over to your privacy, go ahead and tap on there and go ahead and tap your location service and make sure that you are actually struggling on this location service option on your iPhone. At the same time, go ahead and scroll down here and check out the weather application, okay? Now go ahead and tap on there. Now go ahead and choose this option called while using these apps or widgets. Afterward, go ahead and also make sure to turn on your precise location to fix your weather problem on your iPhone. Right after that, just go ahead and check whether your widgets are actually providing you the correct information about the weather or not. Still, if it doesn't help you and it doesn't give you the correct information, now go ahead and check out the next process which is called the low power mode, okay? Now there are two types of low power modes available, one is for internet and second one is for battery. First of all, go ahead and turn off the low power mode for your internet. Now let's go ahead and open up your settings. And now go ahead and open up your Wi-Fi first and go ahead and tap your eye icon if it's connected with your network and then you're going to see this option called low data mode. Okay, make sure to turn these features off. Now right after that guys, go ahead and tap back and come to your main setting option and go ahead and scroll down to the bottom and open up your battery. Go ahead and tap on there and then also make sure to turn off the low power mode option from your battery to fix your problem okay sometimes using low power mode can cause this issue so simply turning it off will help you to solve your problem now let's go ahead and check whether your weather widgets and weather is giving you the correct information or not but still if you're having the problem guys the next thing you have to do just go ahead and check out your date and time now if your date and time is not accurate this problem can happen okay now just go ahead and open up your settings and scroll down to your general tap on there and scroll down to your date and time once you're here guys make sure to set it automatically to fix your problem okay now once you've just done this process now go ahead and check whether it is working or not and lastly, for those of you who are having problem adding widgets on their iPhone, especially the weather widgets on iPhone, then the next things you guys have to do is just go ahead and reset your um, display layout to fix your problem. And to do it, just go ahead and open up your settings, and scroll down to your general, and then scroll down once again to your reset options, and down here you'll be able to see this option called Reset Home Screen Layout. Go ahead and tap on there. Now go ahead and tap a reset home screen layout and your problem will be solved. Alright guys, after doing all of the process, your weather related problem will be solved and you'll be able to successfully add the weather widgets on your iPhone. Hope this video was useful guys, if you think so, leave a like and subscribe to this channel if you want to get more useful video for yourself. Thanks for watching and we will get back to you guys soon.